my skull will be buried in the ashes of this village. No one shall be spared. <laughs> oh, it's all true. Emily Solomon said it's true. Wait! Nothing. Nothing at all. The vicarage is empty. Everyone's disappeared. They've just vanished. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Well, you're the village policeman. Surely you know something. Well, I left the pub at village at around ten last night. Everything looked normal to me. You mean you didn't see anything? Why should I? I don't live in the village, so I saw nothing. There's gonna be a fucking media circus, I'll tell you that for free. They're gone. Everybody's completely disappeared. Hello, what's this? What have you found, Oscar? Bullets! I'll get them down to the forensics department for testing. For the moment, I think we should quarantine the village, keep this whole thing under wraps for as long as possible. Right. I'm going to take another stroll around, see if I can find anything. Want to come? No, I might go and take a look at the church. Why? No reason. My God! Oscar here, I found a body. Folly Lane, send a stretch party. Sure thing, Oscar. I wonder... Did you recognize him? Yes, Mr. Edwards, the vicar. Is that why you went to the church, to find him? That's right. I thought we might be there with that. Yes, I saw that. Funny, I didn't think much of it. Edwards is obsessed with it. There's a lot of trouble in the village after this bubble is done. Well, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Put a few forensic tests, I guess. I'll carry on then. Uh, take that skull down to the station with me. Yeah, sure. There's only one thing to do. If this is some sort of trick, then I'll... It is no trick, Carter. 
who must be punished for not heeding my any warnings. <laughs> what the hell? Well, at a preliminary analysis, I'd say the skull was male. The carved pentagram is certainly very interesting, and I'd say it was done after the person had died. Still, I'll be able to tell all these things for sure after I've done my tests. Right, I'll leave you to get on with it. Uh, just to say, you'll probably get a call from the museum in the next couple of days. Oh? Why? They expressed some interest in that skull, something about a new exhibition? Well, they can't have it. Bloody museums, always stealing things that don't belong to them. I'm going to keep that skull here. It'll be good for training practices. <laughs> Whatever you say, Professor Rendell. But you'll have a tough job on your hands. You know what those museum types are like when they set their hearts on something? All too well, Oscar, all too well. This time they aren't getting what they want. <laughs> Well, I can't stay here all night. Better get home before the vixen starts complaining. <laughs> Need a lift, Professor? No, no, thank you, John. I'll be working late tonight. Fair enough. Good night. Bye. That's odd. Hello? Is there anyone there? Playing tricks, eh? Well, frankly, I think it's pathetic. Well, I have things to be getting on with. I suggest you do too. Pathetic. I don't find this funny. Get back to your work! For God's sake. What the hell is going on? What the... Good morning, Professor Rendell. Take it. Take it back, please. Give the bloody thing to the museum. They're welcome to it. Surely not the skull. And you're absolutely sure you want us to have it? Oh, yes, definitely. Professor Rendell has... Uh, finished his analysis. He wants you to have it. He was most insistent. That's funny. I've never known a scientist so eager to give something to a museum. Not that I'm complaining, though. Well, be careful with it anyway, Mr. Stanton. I know what I'm doing. I am the curator of this museum. Yes, of course you are. I'll be off then. <laughs> You'll fit in just nicely, I think. That's fine. Right, that's looking good. I'd say that's enough work on the exhibition for today. Can I go home now, Mr. Stanton? It is rather late. If you want, there's nothing more to do here for the moment. What's the hurry? Well, it's just... 
I don't... There's nothing. No, go on, tell me. I don't like that skull, Mr. Stanton. It... It was talking to me. For God's sake, get rid of it! No. As the curator of this museum, my word is final. Okay, but for God's sake, let me get out of here. I never want to touch that thing again. Overreacting. Never mind, the exhibition is done. Excuse me? Who on earth are you? I think you should bury the skull, Stanton. I beg your pardon? How dare you speak to me like that? I am the curator of this museum, I know, Stanton. You do little to hide that fact. However, your apparent authority is inconsequential and does little to impress me. Now you listen to me. No, you listen to me. Bury the skull, my skull. If not, then it shall be buried in the ashes of this building. Think about it, Stanton. I will not. That skull is mine. It belongs to me. Saying it's yours represents a vastly ridiculous claim on your part. on fire. <coughs> Help! <coughs> Help! <coughs> Help! <coughs> well, I'm afraid to say the fire is no accident. Arson? Yeah, it looks that way. They must have disabled the sprinkler system as well. We were too late. Were there any survivors? Everybody bar one survived. The curator, Mr. Stanton. He must have perished in the flames. How tragic. Whoever could do such a terrible thing. Whoever. Or whatever.